we are a private uh, university um, that is very young. Uh, last Saturday, we had our 18th uh, graduation uh, ceremony. Uh, so we are about, let's say, about 18 to 19 years old. And uh, it's faith-based, uh, sponsored by the Methodist Church in Kenya. Uh, about the digital uh, repository, we started our repository in 2013, uh, having been assisted by the University of Nairobi. Uh, Rosemary Otando had a project, so she brought some universities on board, and she sent uh, an officer to our institution who installed our display and uh, did the training for the library and uh, ICT uh, staff. So that is how we, we started. Uh, we started as a general uh, repository, uh, but later on now the IDHL uh, came on board. Uh, our policy uh, was drafted uh, starting from uh, that year, and on 2014 March was approved by the University Senate, having gone through the, uh, the University Academic Library Committee, and that committee is chaired uh, by the Deputy University uh, Vice Chancellor uh, for Academic Affairs, and with members uh, from the faculty and the student uh, representatives. So it went through that committee before it went to Senate uh, for approval. But within that policy, we realized we didn't have open access uh, component uh, because uh, we started uploading abstracts. And uh, in 20, uh, early this year, uh, we revised the policy document and it also went uh, through the same process. And uh, it has not yet been approved. Uh, it was taken to the University Council uh, together with other uh, university policies for approval. So we are still waiting uh, for the approval of the policy uh, so that uh, we can have uh, we can upload our documents uh, in full text. Our project implement implementation uh, involves the library, the ICT department, and the academic uh, schools. Uh, I'm here uh, with um, uh, the repository manager and uh, our ICT uh, resource uh, personnel. These are components of our uh, repository policy, the, the types of content, collection, information access, metadata, standards, copyright, quality control, role of stakeholders, and preservation. I'll talk about uh, the role of stakeholders because it is important. We realized if, if um, uh, this project, the digital uh, repository, is like a t teamwork. We can't sit in the library and expect to, for the project to succeed uh, because there are many uh, uh, people uh, who are involved. Um, that is the open access policy statement. It just uh, uh, indicates uh, that uh, open access actually is reflected in our university mission in promoting excellence in scholarship, research, and selfless uh, service to the community. So that is why we want to open our information uh, to all. Uh, in support of this principle, so the university exec expects its members as authors or otherwise to be able to submit their collection or their resource to the repository. So that is just part of the policy. It is still has other components. And uh, so that uh, the, the, the authors uh, are able to realize or to visualize what they are expected uh, when uh, we, exp we ask them to give us the open access to their information. Procedures and uh, guidelines. Uh, we have uh, a metadata policy uh, which uses the Dublin core standards. Our repository manager will be able to 
is uh, well versed uh, with those areas and um, she is in charge of uh, providing the metadata for each uh, for the content. I have had um, Francis from uh, Patrick from uh, Nigeria saying they have uh, selected uh, metadata to reflect their 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 university uh, collection. Uh, I'm sure uh, uh, Faith, you can discuss with him to see whether there are areas uh, that uh, uh, you need to uh, to share or collaborate. Quality control. Um, this uh, this area, I think we discussed about it yesterday, and. Um, we collect um, theses and dissertations and uh, journal articles from uh, our faculty. And uh, according uh, to the quality assurance of the institution. Yeah. And uh, in this area, I think this project has, has kind of, um, we can say we have achieved quality assurance. Uh, in the fact that the university has subscribed to the plagiarism software. Yeah. The university library has been involved uh, in the, the visas, uh, uh, supervision, uh, clearance, so that at least at the end of the day, uh, what we get in the repository uh, is quality. So before, before, before the thesis is submitted, we go through it. Uh, there is what we call uh, citation and referencing, all this area. There are, there are forms that the, the university library signs uh, before the, the student is cleared uh, in some areas. There are two types of forms that we sign uh, before the student is cleared for graduation. So we can, we can see that as a positive move by the repository because the university now is aware that uh, they need to have quality content. Access and use, um, we use the, um, uh, the copyright um, to the work. In case of embargo from publisher or restriction from copyright holder, uh, we can just, the text, uh, we can just the user can just access the metadata of that information, but not the full text. Standards, um, we use international standards such as met metadata item description, file formats. And file formats I think is important uh, because uh, if, you, if, we are, if you use uh, files that are not comp compatible uh, it's not possible for the information to be accessed. Um, roles and, um, roles and uh, responsibilities. Uh, we have uh, the investor management. Our policy is clear on what the investor management uh, is supposed to do. Then in the university academic uh, departments, the university library, uh, research and innovation directorate, postgraduate uh, directorate and the ICT department. Those are the key areas that we collaborate with so that uh, the repository is able to, uh, to deliver or the content uh, is able to be collected, uh, submitted, and is made uh, accessible. So it's a whole uh, process with, the, with each uh, stakeholder having their own uh, role. And uh, yesterday we heard about uh, the, the, in, uh, the University of Nairobi, how they were, they were saying that the university management had supported them and that is why they have gone that far. Yeah, so it is important uh, for each uh, stakeholder uh, to be supportive. This is a university library. It has its own um, responsibilities. Uh, which I think the responsibility of the university library uh, uh, is quite a lot. And uh, we need um, uh, people uh, who, are, uh, who have the capability uh, in terms of skills uh, to be able to cope with all the roles. Uh, 
System implementation, um, we have uh, a trained uh, library and IT staff, uh, mostly on this space. And um, we, we did training uh, from the time we started 2013. Uh, we have done training. Uh, we have sent our staff uh, for training uh, whenever there is an opportunity for training. And then early this year, we did a training uh, through the project for our library staff and uh, our, our users. We have upgraded our DSpace. Then uh, we have registered our repository on OpenDoor uh, platform, and uh, that has given us a bit of um, uh, visibility. Um, that is the site, the OpenDoor site. And uh, you can see Kemo Institutional uh, Repository. It's among uh, the, uh, the repositories in Kenya. If you open the Kenya page, you get our repository there. This is the library uh, homepage. And um, the repository is at uh, the corner there. That is where uh, it is accessed uh, through. And uh, after clicking on that uh, link, uh, we are taken to this site. So we have communities uh, arranged for the different schools. We have four schools, and the School of Medicine and Health Sciences is one of the schools of the university. So we have a community for the School of Health Sciences. So we have masters and a PhD. Uh, dissertations in the in the repository at the moment. So we can you can see down there sub communities within this community: School of Business, School of Education, School of Medicine and Health Sciences, School of Education and Technology. So School of Medicine and Health Sciences, uh, we have uh, departments within that school, and uh, each school now has um, as a community. We have masters in health system management, uh, master of uh, science in nursing education. So what I can say about our university, since it's very young, the, the, the medicine and health sciences is still growing. On Saturday, we graduated our first uh, lot of doctors. So it is still uh, a growing university, and we're looking uh, ahead. Uh, we, may be, uh, we may have a lot more information in this area. So we can browse uh, from the School of Medicine and Health Sciences by titles. So this is the information that uh, we have been able to upload uh, for this um, school. So system updates and maintenance. So inst installation and customization software up upgrade and enhancements, and uh, backup of the system to ensure business continuity plans. Uh, Simon will talk about that to tell us how he uh, uh, backs our system. So the current status of the repository, what has been done? Uh, we have purchased uh, equipment, tested and installed, a server, scanner, uh, we purchased two laptops and two projectors, and they have been assisting us in training uh, our, our users. Uh, Dispays upgrade and customization is what has been done, training of staff, and then content collection. Uh, we have also, we have uh, 170 items scanned and uploaded. Then uh, we did a medical journal survey. And uh, the reason why we, we did that is we uh, wanted to find out whether uh, Kenyan medical uh, journals are indexed in, the, in some of the major indexing uh, uh, platforms like PubMed. And uh, we wanted to request or to find out from them whether they would be able to share their, their, their collection or their information uh, through our, uh, our repository. And uh, we found that um, uh, most of the journals 
uh, would want to uh, to support uh, to have their their content in our repository since uh, they are not indexed in a, in any uh, major uh, indexing platforms i think ex except one and that was in pubmed and uh, uh, they thought uh, this is a good uh, uh, space uh, for them to be visible and for the information to be uh, available uh, widely. So that is the, the survey that we did. So what's left to be done? Uh, integration with Google Scholar, uh, setting up content curation system, data gathering for impact. So we need statistics uh, to show how our repository is being used. So these are areas uh, that uh, we may need uh, assistance. And um, because uh, right now we, do, we, we don't have any statistics on how our uh, repository has been used uh, out there. So the challenges we have had um, staff turnover uh, quite a bit when uh, somebody has been trained and uh, now they they, they, they are able to do uh, whatever you expect them to do, they, they, they move out, they get a better job or a better pay. So staff skills gap uh, is there. Uh, so we need, um, we don't have um, IT uh, in the library, uh, like uh, I've seen uh, most of my colleagues have. Uh, so we need, um, maybe we need that, uh, somebody with uh, uh, ICT skills uh, in the library to be able to uh, to take up uh, the roles, the technical uh, areas of this project. University network downtime, those are challenges, uh, institutional challenges that uh, normally uh, crop up. So future plans, capacity building for staff, develop a, a ADHL specific community, because right now is part of our institutional repository, and then enhance marketing and promotion. So before I wind up, uh, maybe I would like to explain, uh, when we started this project, uh, we used to call it a Kenya strategy. Uh, that means uh, the University of Nairobi uh, was part of the project. Uh, we used to have the Kenya Medical Research Institute as, the, as part of the project. Somehow, uh, the Kenya Med uh, Medical Research Institute uh, did not make it, so we are left with the University of Nairobi as part of this, um, this project. And um, within Kenya, our situation, our, our organizational setup is very different, uh, such that we have huge or big universities, like the University of Nairobi, like uh, Moi University, Kenyatta University, they all have medical schools, Ijaton University, they all have medical schools. And uh, what we realized, uh, it's not able for one institution to bring all the, uh, the content together. So I think we should encourage uh, each institution to develop their own so that uh, we can have a platform where we can share uh, this information but each individual institution uh, should be responsible for, for their own because I, I, I'm not sure how our university would say, uh, I can take care of the University of Nairobi information, uh, the health information. Uh, we cannot manage because we are just a small uh, university. Neither can the University of Nairobi say, I'm going to take care of chemo information. I think what we can do is um, we work together, but at the end, we share uh, the resources, just like we are going to share within the ADHL uh, network. Otherwise, um, uh, there is a lot of information in Kenya in health, and uh, it's isolated. Each university has its own, and uh, I think uh, the future is to be able to bring all this information together so that as a country, we can also have an ADHL as we go out to share uh, with the rest. <laughs>